G'day, going to extremes. It can be really fun and really quirky to push parameters in a problem to extreme positions. In fact, it can give insights to how the problem works if you take something in a very strange push to the limit sort of way. Now, to illustrate what I mean by that, consider the following problem that I encounter every day I walk to work and going to the metro and climbing up the subway stairs. In fact, I notice when I come up the metro stairs, there's escalator, so these stairs are rising, there's escalator, and I'm walking up. At my usual walking pace, I count every day 86 steps, going up the escalators, walking up, up them as they move. So here's the puzzle I had in my mind. If I were to walk up at a slower pace, would I count more than 86 steps? Or less than 86 steps? Or the same number, would I count 86 steps? So again, normal pace, when I walk up, I count 86 steps. If I move more slowly, will that number go up or down or stay the same? Excuse me. Hmm. Well, to think about this problem, let's go to extremes. Let's go to the extreme slowness. In fact, if I walk so slowly that I wasn't walking at all, namely I stood still, how many steps would I walk to go up the escalator? Well, if I stood still, I wouldn't take any steps. The escalator itself would take me up. That will go down to zero. So in the extreme case, I can see that the number of steps I take went down. Therefore, the answer must be if I walk slightly slower than my usual walking pace, I must count less than 86 steps. Going to extremes brought me an insight to the problem. Love it. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.